welcome to this week's online Bible Club. I'm Jackie and I'm going to be telling you a story this week. Do you remember last week that Esther told you a story about a lady who was very sad? Hannah had no children and that made her very sad. Her husband Elkanah wasn't able to help her and so she cried to God for help. And God heard her and answered her prayer. God always hears and answers our prayers. And Hannah had a baby boy. Now, can you remember his name? Well done if you said Samuel. Now, Hannah promised that when Samuel was old enough, she would take him to the temple, that's the Jewish church, in Shiloh, to live with the priest Eli, and to learn how to work for God. Now in today's story, we're going to hear about what happened to, Ad, to Samuel when he was 10 or 12 years old. But first, we're going to sing a song. We're going to sing, Our God is a Great Big God. Over to Tanny. in Shiloh with Eli the priest for quite a few year, years now and every year Samuel's mum and dad, that's Hannah and Elkanah, came to worship God in the temple and Hannah always brought a new robe for Samuel to wear as a gift for him. Samuel was growing up and Eli was teaching him all the things he needed to do in God's temple. He had lots of jobs to do every day. But Eli was getting old and frail. And usually, when a priest was getting old and frail, their sons would take over the work of being a priest in the temple. But very sadly, Eli's sons did very bad, unkind things. They were selfish and proud and they hurt people. They told lies and they disobeyed God. And they refused to be sorry and turn from their bad ways. So God did not want them to take over the work in the temple. Instead, Eli the priest was teaching Samuel to work for God. Now, although Samuel worked for God and knew lots of things about God, Samuel didn't yet know God for himself. He'd never met God or heard God. But this was all about to change as something very special happened to Samuel. Samuel, as I said, lived in the temple at Shiloh where they kept the Ark of the God. And he lived with the priest Eli. And every night he slept on a mattress on the temple floor. But this night was different. Something very special happened. The lamp had not gone out. It was still burning. It was still lit. And as Samuel lay down to sleep, he heard a voice calling his name. 
Samuel? Samuel thought, oh, that must be Eli the priest calling me. So he ran over to where Eli was sleeping and he said, here I am, you called me. Eli looked at Samuel and said, no, I didn't call you. Go back and lie down, it's time to sleep. So Samuel went back to his mattress and he lay down and he was just about to fall asleep when he heard the voice again calling his name. Samuel. So a second time Samuel got up and he thought it must be Eli calling, there's no one else. So he went over to Eli and said, here I am, you called me. And Eli answered, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. It's time to sleep. So Samuel went back again and lay down. And as he lay down, yet a third time he heard the voice calling, Samuel, and he ran to Eli again. Well, now Eli was realising what was happening. He realised it was the Lord calling Samuel. So he said to Samuel, Next time you hear the voice, don't come running over to me, but say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. This was something new for Samuel, because Samuel had never heard the Lord speak before. And he went back to his mattress and he lay down. And then the fourth time, he heard the voice call, Samuel! Samuel, and he remembered what Eli had said to him. And he sat up and said, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And then Samuel listened very carefully to what the Lord had to say to him. The Lord had some very sad news for Eli because do you remember his sons had behaved very badly and disobeyed God and they were going to be punished because they refused to change their ways. But the Lord had some very good news for Samuel because God had chosen him to be his prophet. That's God's messenger. That meant as Samuel grew up, God would continue to speak to Samuel and then Samuel was to tell all the people what God had said. This was a very important work for the Lord. And after God had spoken to him, Samuel was able to go to sleep. Then in the morning, when Samuel woke up, he opened the temple doors as usual and started to do all his work around the temple. And then Eli called him over and said, you must tell me what the Lord has said to you. Now Samuel was a bit nervous. He thought, Eli might be cross because I've got sad news to tell him about his sons. And, but he told Eli everything that God had said. And Eli wasn't cross at all because he said, God always does what is right and what is fair. He only wants the best for us because he loves us. Samuel met the Lord that night and it changed his life. He became God's prophet, God's messenger. And God continued to speak to Samuel and he became well known throughout the whole country. Now, can you remember what Eli told Samuel to say? If he heard the voice again, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And that comes from the Bible in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9. Can you say it with me? Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9. God still speaks to men and women and boys and girls today. It doesn't matter how old we are or where in the world we live, God can still speak to us. 
But like Samuel, we need to listen. Today, we don't hear God's voice like Samuel did, because today God speaks to us through the Bible. When we read the Bible, that's God's word to us, and he will tell us what we need to know. That's why it's important to read a little bit of the Bible every day. Or maybe you could get a grown-up to read a little bit of the Bible every day to you. Then we will learn what God has to say to us. Samuel met with God that night and it changed his life. He had learned that God had promised to send a saviour and he trusted in God's word. God speaks to us today when we read the Bible. And so it's important that we listen and do what it says. So we read the Bible every day and God speaks to us, but we can speak to God when we pray. Do you remember our pet prayer drill? Arms out for one, fold your arms for two, bow your head for three. We praise you, Heavenly Father, because you are a great and loving God. You always do what is right and fair. We thank you for calling Samuel and that he listened carefully. Help us to read the Bible and listen carefully to you so that we can grow to know and love you more, just like Samuel did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. Next week, you'll hear a little bit more about Samuel when he grows up and becomes God's prophet. So we hope to see you then. Bye for now. Bye.